Hello friends, and welcome to a uh, another stream. I'm programming some Rust, trying to make a PR for this project right here, which is GitUI, a terminal client for uh, Git. I am currently implementing support for multi-line commit messages. Um, and the way I solve that is by launching an external editor, uh, much the same way Git does where uh, you, uh, I launch, uh, for example, Vim or some other editor that you might configure, and um, you'll be able to enter a commit message there, and then I will use that as the commit, me commit message. Have hit some hurdles along the way, but things are mostly working now. Uh, I just did a rebase on the latest commits on master, and of course, <laughs> some um, problems. Uh, so we'll jump just straight into it, I think. Um, I'm currently getting a compiler error where app this parameter right over here. Previously, this was a um, mutable reference, like so. But this has changed, which is problematic for this uh, function right here which has some has a bit of a special logic behind it where it does it reads a uh, a field of the the abstract and then it sets it to false if it's true uh, the thinking behind this was that this field basically is a flag which indicates whether or not the some part of the app has hit a point where it requires the entire thing to redraw. But that should only happen once. So what this does is basically resetting it, uh, resetting the flag once you read it. And it looks like the maintainer has changed most of these functions using app from mutable references to, um, to just, um, borrowed references which is an issue for this and even if it this function didn't behave that way it still is problematic considering that we have to reset that at some point and if we don't do it here we bas basically have to do it everywhere we use the everywhere we draw, we have to consider that, that we might need to reset this after calling this, which hmm, hmm. I don't think this is used very much um, I'm just going to change this back to unmute, actually. We'll see what he, what he has to say about that later. Uh, so if we now head up a bit, uh, not that area, but there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Spinner draw. No, that's not the one. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so it's already complaining. So let's change this. And are we using any other instances? Yes, over here. Let's change this to immutable. Uh, those are fine. Why doesn't it resolve those references? Isn't it important at the top? Yes, right here. Oh, it's probably conflicting with the... Huh, that's interesting. No, but it shouldn't though. Okay, it claims it can import it, right? But our, uh, this is still anyhow. Yes, interesting. Does it not recognize that at all? Huh. I don't know. Is this 
somehow dynamically generated. Hmm. Weird. Anyway. I'm really sure why it doesn't see this. If I do this though. Uh <laughs> Okay, so it's fine with this. Does it does it think that it's somehow it shadows I don't know, I'm not gonna spend any more time on it. So okay. Uh, having fi fixed the problem with the draw function um, right here, maybe I should just commit this as a single commit just to uh, explicitly say what I'm doing here. I think actually I'm going to do that. So let's jump over here. This is actually a fork, which is a GUI for Git, which I'm pretty very happy with and have been using for the last almost a year, I think. Uh, they recently switched to a paid model instead of a free model, you might say, or a donation model, I think. And it's the same case for the maintainer of this project. So uh, we both got interested, uh, or I, I rather got interested when he started working on Git UI as an alternative. Uh, so let's see. Um, this, I think, I'm actually just going to put into the previous one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, seems about right. And this is going in now. Uh, switch the to use uh, usable app reference. The function requires redraw <laughs> requires um, mutable reference to reset the uh, flag previously uh, moving this logic elsewhere Feels counterintuitive. Counter. Is it one word, I wonder? Spell counter intuitive. Oh, it's one word. Uh, we also discussed this, me and the maintainer, in my previous stream when he was um, watching live. That that was, he suggested this this solution, uh, and I, I like it. So, I'm gonna keep it, even though we changed it in the uh, master branch. Uh, there are some other places where app is used, were used mutably before, and it's it's not now. So, it was, I don't think the update was in vain. Uh, let's see. So, there is one other issue that I have to work out somehow. Uh, do I have any instant? No, uh, no changes, uncommitted changes. Uh, we'll get there, though. Um, where? <sighs> Somewhere along the line, the commit message that I submit, because this is where I, I show the editor. And I go through trying to figure out which editor I should show, falling back to Vi if nothing else is, um, is, um, is set. And if that's not set, it will show an error message. But at the end, I send the commit message to this function right here, which passes it on uh, and does all the hook logic and everything. And it passes on the message somewhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, this is just to reassign it as immutable, I think. Yeah. Uh, let's see this message though. 
Sync hooks commit message. Amend commit new. Right. Somewhere along the line, uh, somewhere along here, the message loses all its new lines, I think. Uh, because when I tried this once, it it just put everything in a single line, even though I didn't do it that way in the editor. So we'll see if this still is the case. So I think that we're gonna... Gonna output something here. I just put something in the log. In info. And we're just gonna... Yeah, I think we're just gonna do it like this. I uh, can't remember if this barrel bow is it. We'll do that for safety's sake. Um, yeah. That will also introduce a over here. This will also introduce a change which will show up in Git UI for us to commit. Okay, let's see. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's jump over here. And we... Launch Vim. Because that's my editor of choice. Uh, and we'll try editing. So this is supposed to be a title. This is supposed to be the body of a longer commit message. Please don't ruin it. Let's do that. We return. It's committed. So that's nice. I think I look here. I'm not really. Yeah, so as you can see here, over here in the message, this has been truncated for some reason. So all the new lines has been stripped. So I'm wondering what is it that does that? That's my, that's my question. Uh, not, I don't remember, can I reset here? I'll just get the details, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's something that that's at a later point, I think. Okay, so going back to fork, we're able to reset the branch. Uh, let's just jump in back, uh, reset. And let's do a soft, well, hmm, yeah, soft, sure. But what we, what we can do is launch another window here and do a dash I and go over here. Yes. This should give us a log. Yep. There we go. And let's have a look at this. Uh, let's, oh, it's case sensitive. I forget every time. Oh, interesting. Why doesn't it have any info logs down here. Uh, this is all trace. Interesting. 
Wait a second, did I launch the right command? No, I did not. I need to launch it with the dash L command, uh, flag. Okay, so let's try that again. Jump down here, launch the editor. This is still a title. This will not be a message body, sadly. Okay, let's save that. Once again, we can confirm that it's still doing the wrong thing. As you can see inside of here too, it just does everything in the title, which is not what we want. So, heading back here, we can have a look at the log again. Let's just search for info. Okay, so the string seems to be stripped of all the new lines before it's passed on. So it seems to be like this already here. So I do... <clears throat> okay, let's see. So I get the message, I create a message or a string for the message. I open the file, I read it to a string. I drop the file and then I remove the file. Then I go through, well, maybe if we just move this up here, this is still manifest the same way. Not that we build, where's that? Let's see. Okay. Another title. Another body. Okay, let's have a look over in fork. No, still all one line. Okay, let's have a look at the logs. Look at info. Oh, okay. So it's fine before this. So, okay, we know that it's this thing right here that ruins it. So why does it do that though? Because what I'm, pr I thought what I was saying was, wait, lines are ended with either a new line or a, a string slices. Final line ending isn't required. It doesn't say anywhere here that it removes new lines. Uh, string slices. But it might actually just skip. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's this on, on string? Okay, so if we have a look at uh, rust lines. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just do this one. Uh, I should probably have ah, lines method. Lines ended with either new line or a term with line feed. Yes. Mm hmm. We have a look at the source. Maybe that tells us something. Lines any map. That looks like a type. So let's have a search for this. Lines any map. Okay, maybe it's something internal. Uh, let's see here again. Does this reference lines any? Deprecated since used lines instead now. Okay. But it still uses the lines any map internally, apparently. Either over the lines of a string. I wonder what the difference was. I 
let's just do a search for this. Uh, let's see. In here. Here we go. Struct. Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure if this is the thing I'm looking for, but... If the length is more than zero, and the last thing is an R, Right, because it does both slash n and slash n slash r. Right, all right. So it removes the last. Oh, I uh, did a boo boo. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so it removes the. Yeah, it removes it. Right, 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 right. Okay. Are there any other three hits in total? Yeah, so just... Uh... Yeah, just use directly the in inner... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out why it... Because I get the lines then. And I check if they start with a hash. And I collect them again. But apparently, this somehow filters out lines with only a new line. Which is weird. Is it not? Now, uh, what's this return again? Is it a... It's the lines type, right, right, right. So, uh, let's just jump back here. This is interesting in, in any way. Nah. It's just that, an, that it's an iterator, I guess. Yeah, that's not terribly interesting. Okay, so why does it strip them out though? Is it because of the lines thing or is it because of the filter thing? That's easily testable. Uh, we'll just change this to have one of these and reassign the oh, message to be a message like so. And uh, let's. Drop this. This figures out it's a string. That's good. And let's move this log message to here. Uh, and let's change this to be after lines. Like so. And let's change this be after filter. Hmm, should we maybe could collect in a separate thing? Uh, 
Now we'll do like this for now and see if it produces any difference. Oh, got some errors. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Uh, maybe I can just do a. Uh, let's do a collect. And explicitly with a turbo fish. Just to make sure how it goes. Consider giving commitment for a type. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. The compiler can't infer the type, but the first plugin for C line does. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder why that is. Uh, value used here after move. Right, right. Um, we'll just do a clone. Doesn't really matter. Now this is a title. This should not be. Okay, let's jump over to this one and see how we do. Okay, same output as expected. Uh, let's have a look at the logs. After lines. Okay, so lines seems to do the damage. Because lines immediately... Okay. That's... Not good. Right. <laughs> How do we solve this then? Hmm. Does does like string give us any other good ways to do this? Maybe rapid link and sl oh, these are probably from um, cross term. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is why these seems very specific to uh, GUIs or TUIs for in this case. Okay, so there's lines, and that seems to be the only thing. The lines of a string. Oh. Not really sure how to do this in a better way. It's just so weird. It. Ah, nah, ah, you know what? I think I know what it is. <laughs> I think it's collects problem because I think this strips out the new lines somehow. So you don't get new lines at the end of your string. No, wait a second, that doesn't make sense. Lines are ended with either a new line Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just, it, it's explaining its algorithm that it's looking for new lines, either slash n or slash r slash n. Right, 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 right. I'm assuming that it's removing the new lines. So when I collect them again, I don't actually add them back in. And that's why I'm getting this result. So I need to add them back in. So, my question then becomes, is there a way to join strings? Uh, I guess... Hmm. I 
could do a map, I guess. Ah, that seems terribly inefficient. Especially considering that we're receiving string slices. Oh, that's not optimal either. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so it's suggesting that dot join on a So Vec might have the but the problem there is of course that I don't have a vector. I have a an iterator. And I want to insert a new line between every element, basically. I'm trying to trying to think of uh, okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know of a way to do this. Ugh. But it's... Okay, let's just see if it works first. And if it does, maybe I'll find a better way to do it. Um, yes, there is a flat map. And... Let's just call it L still. And we'll return... Hmm kind of curious I probably I don't think it's gonna like if I return us an array let's let's try though so we're gonna return L and a new line I don't think it's gonna like this so we'll see what the com compiler says. Once I... There we go. One, six, nine. Can't collect this. Okay, so it's complaining about the type all of a sudden. Yeah, so this is, again, I think this is what I need. Okay, it doesn't seem to be complaining. Huh. Okay. Let's see if this works. This is the title. This is the body. Uh, let's have a look in the log. I removed all the log messages. Right. Uh, let's just jump over here and have a look. Oh, wow, it worked. Okay. So that does work. It just feels terribly inefficient. Would I be able to just, like, pass in an array, like so? Does it allow me to do that? I don't know. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, no, that doesn't... Ugh. Phew. Borrow or call iter. Okay. I'll call iter then. I'm not really sure... Yeah, I figured. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not going to like that. At all. <sighs> really didn't want to allocate a lot of vectors in here. That's feels very counterintuitive. I mean, still, this is not going to be a massive string most of the time. I mean, it's not going to be an, a whole essay in, in, in most cases. And even then, 
most are going to be written in a single line because you only really want to differentiate if um, you're using some kind of paragraphs or something. <laughs> I really, really can't think of another way to do this, which uh, doesn't feel like uh, proper dirty. Uh, The only other way I can think of doing this is iterating over this manually and pushing to a string basically. But I'm not really sure that's going to be any better. An alternative could be to do this check another way. But, oh, <laughs> that just feels so, that just feels like it's introducing a lot of new problems where I have to do the new line check myself and kind of strip them out in between. Ah, that doesn't, uh, not too fond of that either, to be honest. Hmm. In a weird way, this kind of feels like the most elegant solution to this problem. <sighs> right, okay. I, th I think I'll just have to sell over that. Well, I could... No, that just allocates a whole new one of the... It's even... That doesn't really make a difference. It's basically just still a VEC. I could allocate a whole... You string basically with fünfte or something, but uh, with format, I mean the format macro. But I'm basically rather I could do a string from and push this at the end, maybe. But yeah, I'm still gonna a string is I'm still gonna allocate on the heap. I really don't feel there's an elegant way to do this. Other than maybe like a like a zip uh, command, I don't know if there is like a zip thing in built into Rust. Yeah, there is. Okay. Okay, so an alternative could be if either returns none, next from the zipped iterator will return none. If the first iterator returns none, zip will short circuit and next will be will not be called on the second iterator. Yeah. So this does what exactly what I want. Problem is, I need to know how long the second iterator is going to need to be. Unless it's basically an infinite one. And then I'm basically back where I am making some very huge and elaborate way to just do the same thing. You know what? I'm going to leave it like this for now. This is going to be the way to do it. Um, I'm wondering if I should leave a comment here. Add back the new lines. Lines remove above. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Okay. So 
that means if we go in here and we reset to this commit, yeah. Uh, just do like a soft one, reset. And for good measure, let's add that one in. Jump over here, build this. We should. So if I wanted to add a multi state, multi line one, I could do uh, add, or oh, rather, um, fix uh, missing new lines in multi line commit message. Fixes uh, new lines being stripped from the commit message before committing. I don't know. Dot. And then if we double check over here. Ah, mwah. excellent. I should have checked if it's, yeah, it should be fine. Okay, so that's good. Got that working. Time to update my notebook. I have a physical notebook that I take notes in. <clears throat> so if you thought um, looking at people writing code on screen was engaging, Watch me as I don't do that and just talking to the microphone while um, while writing in my book. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, this makes blah blah blah. Yep, I've got that working. X those out. Uh, let's see. Uh, just a second, I got a message from my significant other. Okay. And that's about it, I think. Uh, I've got it working to where I want it. Uh, the only... The only thing left, I think, is... Um, maybe doing some code cleanup. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm just wondering how much how much better I can make this code look. <laughs> I mean, I I did write it initially, so how much can I improve on myself? Uh, just like a, like a week or two later. Um, I mean, I, I could sprinkle all this with tons of comments, but that doesn't, that's not going to help. Uh, I might just look through each commit message actually, and, uh, or rather each commit and see. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to collapse some commits here too, I see. I see redo, uh, redo, redraw, redo, redraw logic over here, but uh, I've redone it again after that. So I'm a fan of, of um, cleaning up the commit messages, or rather the commits, after the fact to kind of better reflect the progression of the code, not necessarily an exact history, but rather how the code changed over time. 
and having these commits that fixes fixes earlier commits all the time kind of ruins the so I redo the redraw logic here and then I change it again uh, here and and here maybe a bit so Yeah, I think I'm going to collapse some of these before uh, before calling it, um, <laughs> you know, calling it quits, but uh, saying that I'm finished with this. Uh, I'm not going to stream that, I think. Uh, I'm just going to uh, do that offline and put together the PR tonight and finally have it ready for uh, merging. Which is going to be awesome because then I'm finally going to be able to use it as a um, as a probable daily driver uh, when at work because I need multi line quit messages, which is why I started doing all this work in the first place because that's like my minimum <clears throat> requirement, and I'm finally where I can actually be, be able to do that. So yeah, that is good. Uh, I'm gonna end, end the stream there. That was actually quite a short stream, just an hour. But uh, why not? Short and concise. Not like one of my other streams where I spent almost an hour just trying to look up issues and it didn't resolve anything in the end, anyways. So yeah, um, I'll end it here, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, I hope to see you again. Bye bye.